Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. All right, we're looking ahead here over the next week. Yeah, a little bit on the chilly side. Temperatures below average all week long. As we see those high temperatures barely, actually you're not even getting out of the 40s for the most part. High temperature 49 tomorrow, 47 Thursday, and again during the day, well, we'll see temperatures near 47 on Sunday, but really the difference is just a couple of degrees. In fact, three degree difference all the way through next Tuesday, but you'll notice no precipitation. Dry weather is moving back into the northwest. What about the frost and freeze forecast? Getting my sprinklers blown out here in just a little while as temperatures are dropping and we look at this 25, 20 Friday, 27 on Saturday. These are temperatures on average through the valley in the forest and freeze forecast. So we're talking about a hard freeze coming on and with those temperatures really starting to settle on in. So the leaves will have frost and lots of that moisture in the morning will be lingering in the afternoons though will be drying out as lots of sunshine moves on and we'll review tomorrow and there we see temperatures rising up to near 50 and all the sunshine from 9 o'clock 11 1 o'clock afternoon into the evening and then the temperature will plummet again tomorrow night so some real chilly uh, temperatures that so will drop below 35 for the low temperature but by 9 a.m. we'll be back up to 35 degrees and here's what it looked like during the day today 36 this morning uh, from downtown Boise looking over downtown Boise from the Red Lion camera. Here's our latest conditions. We're at 51 degrees. What's the temperature for tomorrow? 49. So a little cooler and cooler still on Thursday and Friday at 49 degrees. But the sunshine returns. I think we'll get a little bit of a breeze again tomorrow afternoon. That'll give us a little bit of a chill in the air. And speaking of a chill in the air, look at the snow in McCall today, this morning. And then it just started to disappear. There it is. It's gone. I mentioned yesterday that we may get an inch of snow, but in the afternoon it would tend to dissipate because of temperatures rising to around 37. We're back down to 33. Still some lingering snow flurry snow showers and at 5,000 feet that snow may be melting, but in the higher elevations it's hanging on. As I showed you at the top of Brundage Resort, the skiers are getting some snow and that may be the base that you'll be skiing on this year. Look at these low temperatures dropping in the teens. That's what's going to hold that snowpack on those higher elevations and that dry air when it gets up to 39. There's not a lot of melting going on. And again, that's at 5,000 feet. Most of our snow now is east of Sun Valley. The reports up to the north here. This report right here near Dixie was 10 inches of snow. They had a snow advisory. Remember, we had a weather advisory in Idaho County for today. Now snow lingering all the way to eastern portions of Idaho towards Idaho Falls, getting rain showers and snow showers and snow headed to the east. There's a few lingering snow showers over the next day or two in central Idaho, but it won't really pile up all that much. Our snow reports are all up here where there's winter weather advisories in the purple region up in Montana. A future cast shows those lingering flurries here and there. That's tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. As we go through, look at all that sunshine in the Treasure Valley. A couple of clouds here and there, but that's really about it. No big changes coming in. Precipitation wise, a dusting of snow, maybe a little bit more than that in some of the higher peaks, but most of the snow from last night is pretty much over with the real accumulating snow. So our future, uh, well, view of tomorrow today Day shows high temperatures near 50. Now 53 in the Western Valley. It won't be quite as chilly. There'll be less of a wind. It will be at 53. More of a breeze and only 49 in Boise. And that's in the afternoon. So that chilly breeze just reminding you that temperatures are way uh, below average. Certainly 47 in Garden Valley, 45 in Riggins, but only 37 in Donnelly and uh, McCall. Real chilly temperatures in the morning. Stanley down to 14. Sun Valley about 21. Lingering snow showers will continue in the East Central Mountains while the Magic Valley tomorrow is still a little bit breezy and high temperatures primarily in the 40s at northwest wind could be as high as 10 to 20 miles an hour throughout the day in my extended forecast. While there's not much precipitation, in fact, none for the valley will keep those temperatures below the normal, which is in the low 50s will be in the upper 40s and there are those low temperatures back into the 20s. A sign that November is here. We're just waiting for that big Arctic plunge and the heavy snow and snowmageddon and no, oh, we're not waiting. For we're that. not waiting. We'll wait for that. We're not anticipating <laughs> it. Yeah, we'll just I'm wait. not waiting for it either. We'll just wait for maybe a little light snow. How's that? <laughs> All right, thanks.